Hey, 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 I'm back. I'm back on live. I'm back in town. What a week. What an amazing week. So I can't seem to get on Facebook. I don't know. The live stream isn't working. So I'm over here on Instagram. Hey, Mr. Wolf. What an amazing week. However, I came back with a head cold. Oh my gosh, all the crystals, just all that energy was really, really amazing. So welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Empowered Spirit Show, my energy focus for the week, where I come on live, where we talk about what's going on. We talk about the podcast. We talk about the cosmos. And we even pull cards for guidance as to what is the week ahead. So we just had an amazing new moon. A lot of energy on Friday that came in, in the Cancer energy to help you just open up, set a new path. Really incredible. And I know for me, it's just like, this is my birth month, so I know I'm feeling it. It's all that intuitive energy. It's all that going within. We do have a lot of planets in retrograde, but that's okay. It's not like the Mercury retrograde. It's more about like going within and really doing some work to evaluate where you are. Because we do have a lot of Jupiter energy retrograding too, which is going to help you to expand. But what do you have to do in order to know how to expand? We first go within. We really do. And I will say that this past week gave me a lot of opportunity to just kind of unplug. I didn't have Wi-Fi, right? Let go. Really enjoy Mother Earth. And that was really what we did. We enjoyed Mother Earth. And that's kind of what it is. Go within. Connect with Mother Earth. I know you've probably been seeing a lot of our posts on Facebook. Look at this. On Instagram here. Look at this. This is an Arkansas crystal. Give me a thumbs up for these. Isn't that amazing? We hiked, we found three mines, three amazing mines with Mother Earth. First, we didn't know what we were looking at. We didn't know what was going on, and we started hiking, and they just started popping up, and the more we looked and saw, the more they kept coming out. Really amazing. We got some little points, too. Really beautiful, beautiful energy, and that's really what this time, this month, is all about. Get outside. Connect with your inner guidance. Connect with yourself. In fact, one of the things that we were doing is like, use your intuition, where are the stones, you know, put your hands up, where are the stones, and bam, we'd go there. I found one this big when I asked one time for that. It was beautiful. We did some ceremony on there. We just kind of gave thanks for all the elements, because that's what these are from, the elements, fire, air, earth, water, all of that energy and spirit. So yes, this is exactly what is needed at this time right now. We've had so many shifts, so many changes. So the ability for you to harness your energy, to go within, to look at what is up is really what is going to help you make the changes coming forward. So as we moved into that energy on Friday, that was about setting new intentions. So what are your new intentions? You do have the opportunity as we open up to this week to go big, to expand, First, we do it within. We expand that energy within us, and then we start to set it into motion. So we actually have some interesting transits, all right? Not to get too technical, but on tomorrow, Mercury is coming in to Cancer, which is trining and squaring all that astro talk with Jupiter, which is going to help you expand your vision, expand your dreams, expand what you want to do. So it's really like focusing more right on the personal, using that innate ability, using your intuition. You guys know I talk about intuition, really using those instincts. Don't get all heady. Don't let your mind get into it. Drop into the heart. All right. Something I've been working on is dropping deep into that heart, deep into that 13th chakra, we call it in our group, deep into that that really that seed of God, that seed of who you are, expand from there. And that's how you can then really set those whys, those new intentions for the past that are coming up. So tomorrow, it's going to be really kind of a euphoric day, a happiness day, like dream big, put it out there, step into your visions. It really is. Business things can go well. Your whole energy in dealing with connections can really go well tomorrow as we move into this energy. Thursday, or the 13th, which I guess is Wednesday, we actually have some Venus energy coming in, which is all about love. 
Love energy. So if you're searching for love, get out there. Do something that'll put you in a position to be out there around others. If you're with someone, just really appreciate all of that energy coming around you. That Venus energy is beautiful. You can see it in the night sky coming out. That was one of the things we could see. We were there for dark of the moon. So the stars were amazing to be outside. Early in the morning, you look up and it's crazy. But Venus is in the night sky right now. So really allow that love energy, as we said, open your heart, feel that energy for you. On the 15th, we're going to have a little more dreamy energy, all right? Got some Neptune energy coming in. And then as we move towards the end of the week, we're going to have a little bit of discord towards the end of the week. That's the only time that this week is really going to feel a little bit disjointed. So really do your work. Tune into what you have to offer. Tune into that guidance that you're getting. We've all been through major shifts. So you may be having new ideas about your life, and this is a time to start actually activating them, finding the ways in which to move forward, to make the changes. You don't have to do big changes all at once, one little step at a time. And using your intuition, using that innate ability, which is all about what cancer energy is right now. It really is. We're building the energy. We just had the new moon. We're growing towards that full moon. So now is the time to open up to that light, to grow each day and the energy that you have and the energy that you want to bring forward, right? Hey, Mercedes, thanks for joining me. I don't know what was going on with Facebook. I couldn't get it. It may be running right now. I don't know. It wouldn't go live. So this is what we want to operate with this week. Intuition, digging within yourself feeling your emotions. Don't stop them. Feel your emotions. It doesn't really take long for those emotions to pass. All right. When we feel them, when we express them, they will move much quicker than stuffing them down. All right. And it has been a rough year. It has. But now's the time to really open up, get outside, connect with nature, do your personal work. That's the message for this week to really do your personal week. Look around you, Honor Mother Earth, honor the elements, and all the many things that have created the growth for you this week, all right? My eyes are watering. I definitely came back with a little head cold. I noticed it yesterday. It kind of hit me. All right, so let's just pull all that energy in. Let's take a moment and center our energies, and then we'll look to the cards for guidance. All right, I'm going to light a little sage. So wherever you are, if you can, for a moment, join me. Close your eyes if you'd like. And let's just practice pulling your energy in. Taking a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Feel that centering of energy coming in for you. Inhaling. And exhaling. Presencing your spirit. Just feel the awareness around you. Connecting with the greater spirit, source, creator, dropping into the heart right here. Know that you're known. Know that you're loved. Calling in all the spiritual helpers, the Reiki masters, the archangels, calling in the crystal beings. We were around them all this week. Calling in your own spirit guides. Ask that they work with you and through you to surround you and protect you as you open up to the week ahead. Calling in the directions for guidance. Here we are with the summer season in the direction of the south. We honor the south, the west, the north and the east. Above us, below us, right into the very center. Feel that connection in your heart. Setting an intention for you this week, for your intuition, for your emotions, for guidance, whatever it may be for you, for this new path of energy coming forward. Whatever guidance you need, how do you want to feel? That is your best guidance. More joy, more peace, more love. And allow that energy, as you see it coming in, feel that love, success, vibration of energy radiating out through your auric field. Just feel it radiating out all around you. Letting go of the attachment, but just feel that vibration opening the heart, connecting with source, sending energy out towards you, inhaling and exhaling, bringing your awareness back, radiating this energy all around, coming back. Coming back. 
So we look to the cards today. The first one is reading from the Empowered Spirit Tarot. Yay, we've got those orders going out. Going in for production, I should say. The first card is a Ten of Water, a beautiful card. This is out of that Cancer energy. When you can appreciate the love you have, the emotions you have, the intuition you have, we celebrate. And that's what this card is about, like all of those many elements coming together. Look how beautiful it is. It's got the rainbow. It's got the hearts. It's got their colors. So this is the opportunity to feel that fullness so that you can begin again. Tens are about that completion and beginning. So as you feel that cycle ending and you open up to a new one, that's exactly what this new moon energy is all about. All right. And so the cards that influence us is the nine of earth. So this is our pentacles. This is our earth. This is our work. All right. And this is a great card for tomorrow, especially. Feel that awareness of what you're building coming in. Feel the why. Use that emotional energy to really recognize the work that you're doing, appreciate it, whatever changes you can make, now is the time to make it, but know that it's building. Look at all the alignment of the roses. That's what we use as the pentacles in this deck. Look at that. Look at the beautiful colors, the energy building up. The next one that comes in is a hangman. Always love it when this card comes up. This is about having patience with yourself. It's also about surrendering. It's about like turning upside down like he's doing here. Let all that energy flow to the crown. Chill, take a time out, understand where you are. Again, that's that same idea of that emotional energy. Go within, do your personal work. And then we have the Fool. Always love this great new moon card, taking that next step forward. And that's what that new moon will help us to do. Gather all of our energy, gather our elements. Look, she's got everything she needs in her little sacred bag. Her butterfly is guiding her. Transformation is coming forward, making new changes in our life. And I think we all can feel that right now. All right, people are traveling again. People are flying again. We drove. So this, we are, yes, we are having those changes coming forward. Where can you open up to that next step in your life? And I really think that's a message for this week, using your intuition to guide you. All right, so appreciate what you have. Feel the energy coming in this week, that Venus energy. Feel the expansion tomorrow with that Pluto energy opening up. Chill surrender, look at life from a different perspective. That's probably the greatest advice right now. We don't want to be doing things the same way we were. I know it's easy to, I know it's easy like, well, I did it this way. Let me do it again. But nothing is what it was anymore. New beginnings, new beginnings, taking that step forward is coming forward. All right. Let me know what you think. Got some roses, got some hearts. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like a card, let me know. I do have a few announcements. I didn't do a podcast this week, but if you haven't heard Cindy Dale's podcast, if you haven't heard our interview about Chakras, Food, and You, amazing work. The quiz itself is huge. It just will show you what your primary chakra is. The book will be out in August. Check it out. The podcast was very informative. It really was. All right, I will be back to podcasting next week. Hey, Kika, it looks like you had an amazing time riding with the dolphins. Definitely. My next Reiki class is coming up in August, August 2021, and we are going to have to move the Reiki retreat just due to weather, rain, bugs, mosquitoes back here. So we will definitely move that to August 13th day, and I will be sending out more information. All right, Kika. Kika, we got you the Ace of Air. New beginning in mindset. All right, this is perfect. You've been swimming with the dolphins. A time to have that new mindset come forward. Look at the stars guiding you. Clear the mind of all the old thoughts. Brand new energy coming forward. Highest frequency it is. Take that frequency. Get a strong mindset as you step forward. All right? Thanks. Mercedes, it was a really good podcast. It really was. All right. Who else would like a card? Kika, let me know how that, uh, that sits with you. I think that's perfect for what you've been doing. Definitely. All right. Who else? Kat, want a card? Let me know. J.M. Russell, how are you? How's your haikus? All right, got some hearts on that one. Yes, thank you. All right, perfect, very good. All right, anybody else? Let me know if you'd like a card. I know sometimes I get personal, definitely. So yes, check out my website. I do have a new website, terryannhyman.com for all of the energy, for all of the events coming up. The cards, if you didn't get them in the first Indigo Indiegogo campaign, they will be out in August. All right, Kat, a card for you. The water, the mother of earth. Nurture you, take care of you. 
All right, be sure that you find the boundaries in your life. All right, earth energy, boundaries, 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 boundaries. It's important to nurture everyone around you, but most important, nurture you. Take care of that inner child as well. All right, let me know how that resonates for you. How's everything in Australia? Definitely. All right. Anybody else like a card? Let me know. Definitely check out what's going on. I do have some fun stuff coming up in August. I have one more trip coming up to New York. I'm going back to New York. I'm very excited to see family and some old friends in New York. All right, y'all. Check it out. Let me know how you're doing. I do have some spots coming up for my private mentoring. If you'd like to talk about it, you can schedule a call with me, complimentary call, and we can talk about how the program can help you open up to your own intuition to make changes in your life and to step forward really feeling empowered. All right, y'all. Love, love, love it. Thank you. I needed it. Great, Kat. Thank you for joining us tonight. Anybody else like a card before I sign off here? Give you one more minute. Check out the podcast, check out the events coming up, schedule a call with me, and let's get you going on building your own spiritual path. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Have a great week. Have some fun as we open up to this week, some great cosmic forces to align with, definitely. To your spirit, namaste.